Number 11 is three pieces. So we got to find what all three share. Well, let's look at the numbers. Three, six, nine. Now, three is obviously a common fact, the greatest common factor they have. Now, the first piece has X to the seventh power. It has seven X's, X, 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 X. Next one has X to the fifth and then X to the fourth. So the most we can pull out is X to the fourth. So let's see what's left behind. We had three X to the seven. We factored out a three X to the fourth. That means an X to the third is left behind. Next, we had a six X to the fifth. We factored out a three X to the fourth. So a two is going to be there because three times two will give us back the six. And then X to the fourth times an X will give us back our X to the fifth. For nine, we know a three is going to be here because three times three will give us the nine. We factored all the X's out, so there's no X's there. So there's our answer for 11. 12, two and six. A two is the greatest common factor. He has X to the fourth, X to the third. So the most we can factor out is X to the third. Y to the third, Y to the third. So, hey, we can factor out Y to the third for each. So we go back and we say, hey, 2X to the third, Y to the third times what gives you 2X to the fourth, Y to the third. Well, everything got factored out except for that 1X. Because remember, it was X to the fourth. So you factored out X to the third. So an X was left behind. Now, two times what gives you the six? A three was left behind. You factored out all of the X to the thirds. You factored out all of the Y to the thirds. So there's none left. So that's what we have.